celebrating local history through song. Members of the Southern Consort of Voices have been tackling a number of compositions as part of an Otago-inspired concert. It was their way of bringing new life to some old stories. We called it Heart of Gold, um, with the links with the gold fields and so on, and one of the pieces was called The Dry Cadrona, which is a James K. Baxter piece. Uh, so that, um, that kind of formed the, the theme, which was basically these little nuggets of of great pieces written by Otago composers around the place. Kelly says the group thoroughly enjoyed putting together the eclectic programme for the concert. Members wanted to showcase a spectrum of emotions through the handful of pieces, tackling everything from celebration to grief. So we had um, a couple of members of the choir um, compose pieces. One of them dedicated it to the late uh, Marcus Turner, who was a uh, big in the folk scene here. Um, so we set one of his pieces to music. Uh, Daniel Copeland did that and uh, he did a great job too. Kelly says the concert was an opportunity for local musicians to showcase their talents, not for financial benefit, but for pleasure. I think most musicians I know tend to do the music out of love and they just really want to get in and do it. Um, but actually trying to make money is really, it's very difficult down here. P partly because Dunedin is essentially a small town. Um, it's a great town. Um, and that was part of what today was about, was kind of celebrating Dunedin. A small but appreciative audience took in the primarily folk and classical programme. The concert provided a fittingly musical end to this year's New Zealand Music Month. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.